guys, it's Alyssa1018X. This is my third time recording this, so I may skip things just because my brain's like, please, I want to go to bed. Anyway, so this project is something um, I decided to take a doodle and just kind of work on color and explore color, specifically kind of staying within the realms of primary colors. Um, and offshoots of it normally when I do a drawing I will do several sketches of it ignore the squeaky chair I'll do several sketches of it and then kind of even move it a little bit more when I'm doing the complete piece in, in digital uh, media in Photoshop I'll still change it but with this I'm like I'm going to stick with the original except for the hand because the hand I just kind of drew because I was doodling in class and I didn't put too much thought into it and I'm not going to in this drawing either spoiler alert so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of staying I'm gonna be staying with um, uh, neutral tones skin colors and grays and then my primary color coming out of this uh, study is gonna be coming from my primary colors so um, you see how my line work is really uh, clean and uniform. That's because I use Lazy Nozomi Pro, the um, plugin. Um, this is a color study. I'm not working on my lines, and I just wanted it to stay like the sketch without too much thought. This was a two-hour-ish exercise. I think it was way less than two. It'll be in the description below. So um, this is me just kind of changing the lines because I've been told you don't want the background to be white and you don't want your lines to be black because you just get uh, kind of trapped in doing the same old, same old. So what I just did on the side over there was I put a color palette of that red, yellow, and blue and I made scute, like offshoots of it. So I made a red, this kind of burgundy, I made yellow, this kind of gold, and I made blue, this light blue. And her overalls are going to be dark blue because... I didn't want to use the other two again and it'd be too gold or too, um, you know, burgundy, um, maroon. I don't know what your, what it'll look like to you if you're watching it on TV, your phone, or desktop. Um, okay, so this next thing, I was like, okay, this looks a little flat. I want to do more with it. Let's, let's do some more color stuff with the shadows. So I followed a tutorial by Jacqueline De Leon. I'm going to link in the description in which she kind of goes through how to use a shadow using one color and doing some fun things with the layer effects. Um, and I'll link that again below. In the tutorial, she used purple as well. I used purple not because I'm trying to copy her, but because it looks good with this piece. I think her original piece had that same, um, um, ma uh, pink maroon um, so it, I already had seen that they look good together plus purple is my favorite color if I'm being honest so here I am I'm just kind of tweaking with the opacity I'm going to play with it for a minute here um, while I'm playing with it um, again this was color study and just kind of trying some new techniques um, the drawing itself, I had no reference for. I did uh, reference the hair, but I didn't actually look at a reference. I've just seen this woman's hair a lot. Uh, Francesca Ramsey, I follow her on Instagram and different uh, social media. She's a um, uh, social justice advocate, and she writes for TV and stuff like that. And I love the way she does her hair all the time, so I did her little braided um, bangs and this these highlights that I chose I was like whenever you think of pop colors I think um, like I'm sorry whenever I think of primary colors I think of pop I think of um, toys just really fun things so I decided to give her her whole um, form uh, this really like reflective look kind of candy bubble gum you know, and then her hair obviously reminded me of uh, the 80s with the side ponytail and the uh, overall and her attitude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like 13 going on 30. That's just uh, the hair reminding me of. Except you don't see it with braids a lot. You can do fun stuff with braids. So this other drawing did not come straight from my mind. I'll reference the uh, picture uh, on the Pinterest board that I made. Um, it's a model and I was just drawing her hair. Um, I think her she had blonde hair in the original. I'm obviously not going to give her blonde hair right now. And what I started with, um, to keep her in the frame at the general same proportions, that's why I kind of drew the outline of the shape of the torso on the woman on the left and then moved it over and then brought in a scan. Um, or I don't really use a scanner that much. I honestly just take a picture. I don't need to see it that well. 
With her, I'm going to kind of do the same technique first. So I'm going to block out color individually and then skew again from those primary colors. Now, since I chose really, really bold um, colors from the primary colors on the woman on the left, the woman on the right, I'm going to go pastel. And you can go pastel uh, style while still remaining um, with those rules as uh, red, yellow, blue. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned those were the primary colors, but there they are. Um, <laughs> so I kind of have her more delicate, but I like that she has a choker and she has blue hair. It's like, what's going on? It's it's a lot of um, juxtaposition in the way you would um, perceive those different parts of the fashion. So you wouldn't see a choker with usually a beautiful flowy pink shirt and then this yellow, uh, sorry, khaki orange um flowy skirt that's how I imagine the bottom even though you can't see it I'm kind of doing the same shadow thing here and something I wanted to note on on the hair is when you're trying to enrich black when you're painting or doing an illustration of black hair uh, or ravens or just really dark items there's often violet blue and red put in there two of those being the primary colors I'm using anyways and purple being something I'm using for shadows so or short or purple within uh, layer effects so I decided to kind of I think that would be fun to make one hair kind of base red one hair kind of base blue because it reminds me of when you do that with painting or uh, watercolor or pastels or anything else again just kind of that bubblegum pop um, highlights even though she's definitely more muted colors I love the way her hair turned out. It's kind of crooked, but it's still cute. And the gray background is just because I was like, I'm going to stick with primary, but if I put another color in the background, I feel like it would outweigh it. Any version of yellow would be too heavy, so I just kind of stuck it gray. It's about them. It's about the characters. It's not about the background in this case. Anyways, if you like this video and you don't want to hear me talking the whole time, but you want to see the process again, I upload it on Facebook facebook.com um, slash Alyssa 1018x and if you want to support my work like me on Facebook um, follow me on Instagram um, like this video subscribe to my YouTube channel yada 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 also patreon.com slash Alyssa 1018x where you can support my artwork and thanks again for watching